plane flying over. Okay, so before you can put the flap on the seat back, back down around in place of where the factory one was located, um, you leave the flap up. The bottom, you're gonna pull through and do. This model, we're putting heat in, so we just move. This heat comes over on this side. The top heat comes over on this side. You don't need to worry about those. And then on the seat bottom here, you've got the straps. So you can pull the straps tight as you're working on the seat bottom. Part number 22 or 12, those are gonna be the same. And then here's how we do the Clausio knot. Okay, so um, the string, oh, I see why that. You went over my string. I'm gonna go under the strap here. I can edit that. There we go. Okay, so when I check the string, I like to make sure that I can pull it and it's free moving all the way around the seat. That's like key for me. On the one side, you just take you just take the string like this, you make fold it in half and just make a little loop and you're just gonna make a loop. I already did that on that side, so we don't need to do it over here. And then with the sliding motion, pull this side so that the loop goes as far as you can get it down this way, okay? Then with the, the other end of the string, just go through the eye hole needle, okay? And then what you're checking for is that your string isn't in your track. So if you can see the track, the string doesn't come across the track. You don't want it to come down there, you'll cut it. So I've got the string, it's just right up there right up there above above the track and then coming in from the other side I'm also above the track then I can pull okay can you see that under there mm -hmm. okay so I pull I pull on the string so annoying just for making a video okay I pull on the string see it's gonna get really tight and then here's just a tip okay so all you have to do is just pinch just pinch right there it's really easy and now you've just now you've got a free floating string here and it's really easy. So just with one hand, just put the string back over and you're just gonna make a loop and just cinch it down to where your pinched finger is and that's it, like, ta-da. Now, if you do, if you just leave it one knot, we like to come back a few weeks later after the material is kinda pulled and gotten used to being on the shape of your seats, then you can come back, undo this knot easily because you only did it once re-tighten everything and get an extra pull on it and then you can even you know tuck just like this make another loop and tighten it so that it never comes undone you can do as many as you want but you really don't need to do that many and then some people like to cut these strings but it's really not a good idea if you ever want to do some adjusting so you can just kind of loop it together reach up under the frame here there's a whole bunch of metal and all you gotta do is just tuck it underneath something, tuck it underneath the grid that's there, and ta-da, it's gone out of, the, out of the way. And then, now that you're done there, now you can bring your original flat back from the top, take your S-hooks from the bag, reach back down there. And this doesn't have to be tight. It's designed to actually be a little bit loose so that when your seat folds back and forth, it's not pulling super tight. So you just put your S-hook, S-hook right there on each bungee, reach down onto that same grid frame, and hook it back on, and you're done.